there seems to be a lot of uh, sort of stormy, dark imagery in this record. Yeah, well, you're getting a rare nice day in Seattle. It's usually not like this, so. So, I type with my eyes. You can ask me questions. Just need a little time to respond. Is it just me? Am I the only interview for the whole record? <laughs> that would be kind of a really strong statement. Guys, let's lock it up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Feel free if you think the question sucks to tell me it sucks. Okay, so with my first question, it's been five years since Backspacer. That's the longest stretch between records. What the fuck? It's good to wait until we feel like we do have something to say. It's just, if you're paying attention to what's going on on the planet, I feel like I can find something to be <laughs> angry about pretty quick. Well, everybody's kind of playing out of their minds on this record. You know? Mind Your Manners will be fun to play live. Mm. If I can keep up with him. Just double time in that thing. <laughs> the guys really wanted me to go full throttle. Do you have any hearing loss at all, you think? I'm ringing right now. Ow. Okay, so if you step back and look at the record, is there a song that, individually, you are most proud of? For me, I, I'm super proud of that song, Sirens. I, th I think that's a high water marker for me to be able to, to, to write something like that. I had a lot of help with Ed and Brendan and the band. And Hear the sirens. How collaborative is it on, on the lyrics side? Do you guys, do you guys ever read the lyrics and just go like, no? <laughs> this, I, I don't know what you're talking about here. Hear the sirens, hear the circus so I've learned a lot in my own craft watching how he works. I remember when he played that song for us in his room, like right after he wrote the lyrics. And I think he had stayed up the night before writing those lyrics. And I remember hearing the sirens that he was obviously writing about because we were staying in LA and there's sirens going off every five or 10 minutes in Los Angeles. So that, that was a cool thing to sort of feel like we were witnessing what was inspiring him to write. He's on a tear right now. Yeah. He's got a lot of words, I think. You know, you kind of want him writing as many as he, as he wants. I've always just thought of it as, you know, surfing a mm -hmm. bit, you know, and, the, and that the wave is actually the song and, and the words are kind of like the board or the, you know, and so it's really how you, you're moving around that. Surfing's pretty easy once you're on the wave and so is songwriting once you're on the wave, but you can spend a lot of days out there paddling around and not getting anything. Or what, like what sparks a song? Or can it be a, a lot of things that spark a song? She comes on like a song. 
There's always a chance you're gonna write a song. Keep following it, where does it go? Where does that mistake lead you? Really just kind of waiting for something to hit. It's an arduous process and I go at it you know, every waking hour and maybe a few while I'm sleeping. I've been writing probably more the last four or five years than I ever have. There's always a sense of relief when that's kind of done. The songs are just fucking, you're running a flop house with all these fucking tenants that won't pay their rent in their head. And like, you finish the record and you're just like, done, out, evicted. So you can get some new tenants that might, you know, actually clean them up after themselves. <laughs> With everything you you think that you figure out, it, it just it, it's another it's another path to another set of questions, you know. Is there a sequence or segment of a song? Maybe even a tiny piece of music that a casual listener may not even notice. That puts a smile on your face. through another one. <laughs> Can't yeah. wait to see what's next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounded great. It sounded great in the old Lincoln. Dog shit. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> wait a minute. It's locked. We're fucked. No, we're not fucked. The neighbors are fucked. <laughs> Here we go.